welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super fun video to kick off the holiday season. So this is going to be a video on how to create your own holiday drink station. You can really create this station and use it all year round. If you're a coffee drinker or a tea drinker, this is a really fun way to feel like you're at a coffee shop in your own home. I got this little um, set from Home Goods, and I'm finally getting to use all of these fun little sets that I got and put away for the holiday time. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. First, I'm going to show you guys how you can create your very own really fun jars to store all of your hot cocoa and tea and coffee essentials. It's super easy. I found these jars from Home Goods and they were all under $3 a piece. So if you go to the dollar store, you could probably find them for even less than that. Um, but the most important thing is to make sure that the jars are airtight because you want to make sure that none of the ingredients that you put in there go bad. And you're also going to need some craft paper. I found this at the dollar spot inside of Target. They have really cute pattern and then I found these really cool stickers also in the dollar spot at Target. You're also going to need some sort of double sided tape. The first thing you're going to do is take your scrapbook paper and determine how big you want the label to be and then just make little markings so that you can go in with your paper trimmer and cut it down to the size that you want. Once you've cut out all your pieces of square you can go in and start adding the little label stickers and basically naming each jar whatever you want. Since I'm just a little OCD, a cool trick is to add the first letter and the last letter of the word and the middle letter and then you can start filling in the spaces just to make sure that your entire word is going to be perfectly centered. So once your labels are done, you're ready to add your double sided tape and put them on the jar. Now that we have all of our jars nicely labeled, it's time to fill these babies up. So the first one, I'm filling it up with mini marshmallows and these are going to be perfect for hot cocoa. The second jar I'm going to be filling it up with cocoa and the third jar is going to have cinnamon sticks. These are great for any kind of coffee or tea drink and then also some peppermint and this is going to be perfect for either coffee or hot cocoa. So now we're ready to get our drink station all set up. The first thing I'm doing is hanging up the coffee cups and to do this I'm going to be using these really awesome clips that don't ruin your wall. You basically put this adhesive that comes with it on the back of it and when you stick it onto the wall it doesn't ruin your paint or anything like that when you take it off. So what I did is I kind of got an idea of where I wanted the cups to go before I actually put the adhesive onto the cabinets because once you put it on it is kind of a pain in the butt to take it off and have to do it all over again. Next I'm taking this beautiful cake stand that I found at Home Goods, and I'm putting little plates on there that are going to coordinate with the coffee cups and they're also great for when we have pastries with our coffee. And then I'm going to be adding all of the spices on top of here. A little side note, you can add pumpkin pie spice to your coffee, like it really reminds me of the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. Okay, so going back to the setup, I like adding different heights of things because I feel like it really adds some interest. Whenever you have things that are a different height, it doesn't make everything look so flat. Now I can bring all the jars that we filled earlier and place them next to the cake stand. Next I'm going to take some of these really cute paper straws that I got from Target and put them in a cup. You can use any cup that you have. Um, this cup is from Starbucks from their holiday collection last year. Now it's time to bring down all of my favorite teas and I'm using this really cool glass container that I found from Home Goods to put them all in. You can also do the same thing with your coffee but I like to keep mine put away in a cabinet because we have a lot of it and our holiday drink station is all complete. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is something you could totally do year round. It doesn't have to be just for the holidays and it just makes every morning's coffee much more enjoyable. like the decor here. I do have an entire video on my living room tour. I will leave that link down below if you guys want to check that out. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed to it. I will talk to you guys on my next video. Bye.